Hello everybody, this is Agent Ice. Um, warning, this uh, might contain some of what people would call spoilers. Um, the aim of this video is to explain most of the you know, stuff about focus, what it is, how you use it, how you get it, all that good stuff. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this from a lot of people and I wanted to post up the video. So, uh, here we go. So, what is focus? Honestly, focus is a new skill uh, system in Warframe. All right. They have added a fifth ability that can be used by any Warframe. And, it w and uh, there's different types of focuses. They all have their own effects and perks. So, how do you get focus? You need to go do the Nata quest, which you get by scanning a sentient Oculus on Uranus. Okay? I suggest doing Dark Sector Survival because I always find at least one of those guys there to scan. So, make sure you've got a scanner equipped in your gear slot. Go find one of these guys, get the Nata quest. Then you beat it, unlock the second dream quest line. After you complete the second dream, you will get uh, the focus ability unlocked. Uh, part of the end part of the uh, second dream quest line, you actually get to pick a focus school. Okay, uh, I'd suggest checking out the Warframe wiki before you choose one to know, you know, kind of figure out which one you want. Because, not that you're stuck with it, but it's, you know, not going to be so easy to get set up to where you can start using another school. Anyway, you also will get a lens for the school, okay? Um, and you apply it to a Warframe or weapon that's rank 30. So, if we go in here, alright, I'm in my arsenal, click upgrade, go to actions... Alright, there's an option here for lenses. Click this. I can pick whatever lens I want to equip to this thing. Okay? And if I wanted to, I just, you know, click on the lens and hit install. I already have one equipped to my weapon. And actually, if you look at these, these are, you know, th these markings indicate, uh, you know, which lenses are installed. Anyway, if you try to install a lens on a piece of equipment that already has one, it'll destroy the one that's there already. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't know what happens if you form with a weapon, if you lose the lens since it's supposed to be applied to a you know a rank 30 piece of gear. I would just to be on the safe side, I would make sure you've got you know your equipment formed out the way you need it to be. Um so anyway. Uh, so the lenses get more on that here in a second. So, there's different focus types, okay? And these should, these names should look familiar to you because these are the names of the polarities. I know most of us call them by alternate names, but those are the real names. So, this one, you know, it's got a laser, um, you can get increased physical damage, um, you know, the ability of this mind spike. I mean, they all, they all kind of have, you know, their own things. They have active and passive abilities. The active ability, uh, you know, is what you're, is while the effect is in use, or the, you know, the skill is in use. So, like, for example, your, your ability is this, you know, for, for this one. All right, Basilisk Flare. All right, so you have a beam that petrifies enemies, and I don't know. Maybe there's, you know, some kind of ability that makes it so your enemies explode like a nuke. I kind of doubt it. But maybe there is an ability like that, okay? That would be an active ability, all right? And then something that would be like a passive is maybe something that grants you and your allies an additional... I don't know, 20% armor or, 
you know, something that runs for the rest of the game to, like, you know, reduce the enemy's armor on melee. Uh, this is the one that I use, okay? Uh, the active parts of the ability is it heals allies that are around you, restores health and shield. Um, the shield part you pick up later. And auto-revive in an AoE. The passive would be I get to auto-revive people for the, you know, up to four times after using the skill for the rest of the game. Um, so, yeah, the passives, sometimes it's a short effect that lasts for a little bit after uh, the skill is used, but a lot of them last for the duration of the uh, game. So, how do you get a focus lens? Well, when you complete the second dream, you get to pick one that you want, okay? But you can also get them from doing the sorties, okay? It is an award in there. Uh, you can trade other players for it. And uh, yeah, on that note, if you get four of the same kind, you can buy a special blueprint in the market, okay, that lets you combine them and make a greater lens, okay, which gives you more focus points per kill, okay? Or you can just flat out buy it for 40 plat in the market. Um, so... I already kind of showed you how to use it. You go in there, you go to upgrade, you go to actions, pick your lenses, choose the lens, apply it, you know. So, now you want to know, how do I gain focus? Alright, so think of it this way. The lens is kind of like a syndicate sigil, okay? Whenever you, you, you ha you're using a piece of equipment that has that lens equipped and you use it to kill something, it gains points for you, for your focus, okay? Um, so, by defeating enemies. Now, no matter what, as long as you get the kill, all right, your frame is always going to get focus points. If you're you have the lens on your weapon, that particular weapon must be used to kill the enemy to get the focus points. All right, and you can use this to do what I call double dipping, which is you have a lens on your warframe and a lens on your weapon, okay, and you use the weapon to kill the stuff and you're getting points on both the weapon and your frame. It's really nice, really nice, okay? Um, but anyway, so you can do that you can use you can have several different lenses equipped on all of your different pieces of gear if you want. Um, you can do it however you want. Uh, the focus gain showed at the end of the mission. I'll show you that here in a bit. Um, the daily cap is seventy five thousand focus, and uh, you can see how much focus you can earn by checking your ten L. Get to that here in a second. Um, so, you don't have to have a lens equipped to use your focus ability, okay? You can use it no matter what. The lens is just to help you gain focus points to use to upgrade or get, you know, more perks for your focus. Um, you can change between different focus skulls freely as long as you unlock them. Uh, focus has a cooldown at the beginning of the game or the match, whatever. You... Yeah, you have to wait for the cooldown. If you die, the cooldown resets. And if you use the skill, the cooldown resets. Um, and I'll, I'll show you some more about this here in a little bit. And when you use your focus, your frame becomes immobile. It just kind of stops operating where you're standing. Uh, your Tenno kind of comes out and starts using its powers. But... It's all right because you'll be invulnerable as long as you're using the skill. Um, so you don't have to worry about getting you know killed while doing that. Anyway, um, after the skill's done, you regain control of your frame. Uh, the act, and I already kind of explained the active and passive abilities here. Um, so anyway, I'll take this into a game and show you what this looks like. So, let's go to Warframe here. I'm going to pick... Something pretty, pretty easy. Uh, oh wait, well actually, I'll show you this first. So, right now I've got Naramon, alright? 
Uh, up here you have pull. You can use your focus points, which, you know, for Naruman, that's how many, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, you know, focus points I have up here. Depending on how many options I have selected, okay, it'll change how much of the pull is being used. You can unlock more skills as long as you have the standing necessary, and you can use them as long as you have the pull needed to equip them. Now if I wanted to switch to Vazarin, which is actually the one I'm trying to work on, I'd click Make Primary, and then I'd get those abilities. Alright? Um, but anyway, for the sake of this video, because this one's kind of more interesting to see, I'll pick it. Oh yeah, also, when you first talk to your Tenno, you'll get a little pop-up here. It tells you how much, uh, you know, points you can get. For the day. So I've barely gotten any of mine for the day. 75,000 is a cap, and I've, I've only gotten like a couple hundred. So, let's go to the ship. I don't know why I didn't just use my menu for this, but hey, it's all good. Uh, let's do a T1 cap, shall we? There's my ship. Now, as I said, I gotta wait to show you this because there is a three minute cooldown uh, for my ability. So if you look to the right of my skills, there's a little circle there, and in the center of it, there's a little icon, you know, the little focus symbol, okay? And there's a little bit that's blue. The blue's going to slowly grow. Uh, that represents, you know, the cooldown once it's blue all the way around. Um, well, <laughs> it'll be done cooling down. Here's my target. I'm just going to go ahead and cap this and not have to worry about it anymore. Easy mission. Anyway, oh, cool. It exploded. I go up here, get those. As long as you have something that can shoot through the balls, you can, you can get this stuff. And you have a... You know, a sweeper with, or a carrier with the vacuum mod, you can grab that stuff. Anyway, going invisible again. And I gotta wait. Gotta keep waiting here. That guy's freaking out. Maybe I can get lucky and find like a rare creature or something, I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath for that, but hey, it can happen, right? Uh... I do like uh, the changes they made to the void. It looks very nice. I wonder if I can... I'm gonna find a group of guys. There's only a couple there. Alright, I'm gonna call in my ship. Kind of show that ability. So, my ship should come in here and just start. Yeah! That's what it does. I mean, it doesn't necessarily kill them all, but it'll knock them down and it'll damage them. It's alright. It's all right, I mean. All right, so still waiting for this. It's a little over half done. Uh, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Don't you worry. Ooh, this would be the perfect place to use that maybe. There is a lot of enemies. Hmm. Okay, so here's some guys. I'm going to press five. Oh, wait, wait, nope, nope, it's still on cooldown. I thought it was done. For some reason. Alright, well, we're almost done. 
We're almost done waiting on this. I mean, obviously, this isn't something you're just going to be able to spam and use all the time whenever you want. You can't bank on this to be there for you. It's it's there just to supplement you, okay? Um, so don't don't get don't think you're going to be dependent on this. That this is going to be a big, huge thing that's going to change your life forever. I mean, it might change it a little bit, but it's not going to really do a whole lot to change the game for the most part, except for maybe your passives. <sighs> We're almost there. Just a few more seconds. Me. Okay, so the thing is now done. As you see, it changed. I'm going to go invisible here, and I don't know where all the enemies went. They just kind of disappeared on me. Okay, I'm going to pop my five. My stupid thing keeps killing them. But anyway, I'd fire, I'd use this, there's little black waves coming out of me, it confuses the enemy. So right now that guy up above is actually confused, um, he's fighting with the other dude there, you know. So you get to kind of be like Nyx in that matter. Um, but that's how that works. And then you finish your mission, okay, and you can see these numbers here. All right, that's how much focus I gained uh, for each piece of equipment. The XP bar doesn't really matter. This doesn't really matter. That's just your total amount that you have. Um, but, yeah, so that's focus. That's how it works. That's what it looks like. Uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is Agent Dice signing off.